Hey gang, welcome back to Big Board. I'm here in the uh, echoey game room with the squeaky chair and all sorts of fun stuff. And I wanted to talk to you about Ancient Wars and let's kind of see where we're at with it. We've only got, uh, I think we're on our third turn, so the third month. So I'm not even through a full year yet. And uh, some of the things that I was a little concerned about, I've managed to resolve. So we've looked at these issues with movement rates and things and uh, just agreed that wherever we see a scatter, we're going to ignore it unless we're out in open terrain like so. Or like so. And we're nowhere near, we're more than two hexes away from a river or mountain range. Uh, because I would believe that uh, between scouting and you know current mapping capabilities that if you could see a mountain range you would know generally speaking which direction you need to be headed and secondarily if you had scouts you could uh, know that there's a river 20 miles away or thereabouts and that you were headed either east or west or north or south and so we're, we're doing away with scatter unless we're out in these open areas here and then um, if the scatter result happens, it happens. And how I chose to resolve uh, the, let's see, this sort of happened over here. So just over here, uh, when we get a, a, a attrition result, uh, you know, if I'm moving, literally, these guys move from here, where did they go? They went from here to here, I think. So from here to here, I'm supposed to lose a unit uh, based on the current rules. So I could make my choice, I can lose, two factors of recruit cavalry or five factors uh, an entire legion from moving from Syria from moving from Palmyra to Thapsus well that goes into the epic stupid bucket and we're not going to do that so what we are going to do though is obviously there's some rationale behind that so rather than having it be so draconian what we're going to do is uh, say that this unit cannot move the next turn and so I've turned them upside down to note that that's the case and that would be the mechanism that would go will go through and use that to define what's going on now if it happens to be a winter turn uh, we're, we're gonna make it more uh, or a force march a winter turn or force march then we're gonna say you can't move for two turns well that tries to reflect the fact that you know, your, your forces may have been strung out you may have lost some forces, so, so you've had to recombine your units and get them all back into shape and get them all refitted and all that sort of stuff. And so 60 days is a reasonable amount of time uh, to, to be penalized. And that, we could make that whatever we wanted, make it four turns for all I care. But uh, eliminating a unit, it just seems dumb. That's particularly when I can, I can recruit a new legion, and I believe the way the recruiting rules work, that I can, I can bring them into one of my cities... Or I believe I can also put them under a legate. So it's it just as easy for me to lose a unit and then just go, oh, I'm going to put a brand new legion right here. Uh, <laughs> so it's a, it kind, of, kind of wacky. And as I suspected, <clears throat> as I look at this, the Persians are going to back off. They're going to combine all their forces into one big pile. And they're going to hang out and wait for the Romans to come and get them. And the Romans are saying, well, screw that. We're going to wait till we combine all our forces in one or two big piles. And then we'll try and march uh, in and attack you, colonize the hexes we need to colonize. And then, it, then that would you know, end the game or whatever the case may be. Fulfill the victory conditions, you wouldn't end the game. You'd keep playing. And what happens to everything else on the map? Well, everything else just kind of sits around and waits. You know, we're doing the same thing over here. With Marcus Aurelius, he's uh, gathering forces up. We're going to bring these guys in here, and he's going to get a nice big pile. And this legate here is going to get a nice big pile, and they're going to go attack these two hexes. In the meantime, all the forces up here for the barbarians, for the Germanic tribes, they're going to combine all their units up and build a big force up here, and then they're going to come down. So you have this fantastic, gorgeous map, and all this space, and all these political things that could or should or might be happening, or, you know, random events and stuff like that. And basically you can afford to pretty much ignore all of them based on the victory conditions for this particular scenario. So Rome can really just concentrate on being, building, I'm going to build three mega hex, three mega stacks, 
I'm going to create some of these little uh, doohickeys here that allow me to create colonies. Well, <laughs> we had an interruption there and I actually forgot where I was at, which is really annoying. Uh, so, I think we were talking about the Germans building up one big massive pile, the Romans building a massive pile up, and really we could ignore all of the other things that were going on in terms of random events, fair, pretty much, and uprisings and all that sort of stuff, and just you, just, you can just drill down and focus on the future conditions. And so it seems to be that you've got this beautiful, I think what I was trying to point I was trying to get at is you've got this big gorgeous map and all these cool little pieces, and uh, it, it's not making you do it's not making you do anything to maintain the empire per se because the the, the forces seem to be fairly sparse uh, maybe they should have all been consolidated at the beginning but then you would con consolidate them into one big stack um what are you going to do then as the as the roman because you've got perfect knowledge of where everything is you just pile all your forces in and you can ignore it so Maybe you could recruit other forces and then do as some sort of subterfuge and attack somewhere else. But the, ro the, the, the these guys are on the defense, really. Uh, that whatever they do is not going to really impact the Romans terribly much. The Romans just need to capture two or three locations. So I'm not sure whether it's the victory conditions, the system, or the system and the victory conditions combined for this particular scenario. But uh, suffice to say. I'm going to stop reporting on this. I'm not finding the narrative to be really very interesting at all, but I do want to goof around with the system a little bit longer and try and understand if there's a way I can fix some of this uh, that's within my ability to do. Uh, the combat system without breakdown units really means that, you know, these guys here fought this stack here two legions. So two bands for two legions, these guys get doubled in the combat phase. So they were 20 versus 20. It was a, would have been basically a one-to-one -one attack. You had a leadership advantage. Uh, we had some archers in here as well. Uh, they inflicted five factors of r r results here. You can't see that. That's a 10. Let me zoom in a little bit here. Uh, where'd it go now? Dang. Yeah. Uh, so we had this 10 and uh, they, you know, they, there were two 10s there. And so I, I, I take, take five losses. And so you have to lose a 10 because you don't have any breakdowns. And that's the, that's the challenge. And I think with the number of stratagem markers you have, you have a real hard time building enough force up to uh, be a threat to the Romans. I'm just wondering how this game got made. Uh, and how it got made the way it is, or if I'm missing something fundamental here, I just I don't know. Anyway, it, it's really inter it's interesting, but it's not terribly engaging, and that's gonna we'll, we'll see how we go once we get through the full year. All right, thought I'd share that with you, and uh, unfortunately, this is gonna cut short my. Uh, you know, I'm just only gonna play the one year of this, so it'll cut short my exploration of this particular system, and. My writing, I was looking forward to writing about Marcus Aurelius a little bit. So we'll have to come up with another plan, new system. Maybe we'll pull Genesis out, try it later.